Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Reviews. You see by the title below, this is on episode 13, the final episode of the first season of Rewrite. And yes, I say it like that because guess what? I got some news for you. You probably do know, but if you didn't yet, if you don't know yet, it was announced that there will be a second season of Rewrite, which will be on the Moon Slash Terror route, and it will be airing in January of 2017, which means it's going to be airing in the winter season. So we only have to wait one season for the next season. You know, the fall, we have to just wait through the fall season and we'll get rewrite season two. I was honestly not expecting it, to be honest, by how everything was going, how it looked like it was going to be ending. I felt everything was just going to just explode in this last episode, to which it did. Um, I know you guys said in the last episode that you're um, the visual novel readers, you understood a lot more of the things that were going on. Sure, it was rushed, but it was more understandable for you because you already knew some of these things. So it wasn't like how it was super crazy for me when I watched the episode 12. Once again, there's a lot of things in this episode that I was kind of just like literally when I was watching, I was like mind blown because I had no idea what was going on. One event happened, one event happened. I was like, holy crap, what the hell is going on? That ending. I honestly thought it was like some bad ending kind of thing. Like they adapted the bad, a new anime original bad ending for this, but instead it's actually from what we saw at the end that this was just one possible route one possible um like timeline that happened and i'm guessing moon slash terror will explain more on different things because obviously at the end we see kagati looking down on these lines kind of thing and that one line disappears and she starts tearing up a little bit because that's what happened you know obviously that that way didn't end up going well everything went bad and everyone ended up dying or ascending as they called it in this episode and I was really like what before that ending came up I was more of like holy crap this is a bad ending or something what the hell just happened and then that showed up and I was like oh okay and then of course seeing the season 2 announcement I was like oh okay okay then um makes a little bit more sense I'm still kind of confused on a lot of the things so visual novel readers feel free to comment below on anything that I may have missed or anything that I ask of you if I did understand something but without spoilers obviously since there will be a season two and like I said before even if there wasn't going to be a season two I was still planning on you know game um, playing the visual novel which I will probably still do but maybe after season two if anything I still or I don't know I don't know if it should do it before or not but I would definitely be reading the visual novel but yeah other than that how do I feel about this episode first off it starts off pretty much yeah the whole world looks like it's getting destroyed and everything but it seemed that the song stopped why did the song stop pretty much we see that Akane ended up shooting the um, other person and stopping well delaying really the whole song of destruction from going on but of course since she killed her she ends up getting possessed later fully and ends up restarting the song of destruction so everything goes bad again but that's why there was a, a delay on when everything's pretty much stopped we get to see everyone fighting and stuff all of you know guardian fighting Gaia kind of things and Saki also fighting we also see him transform I'm guessing like we were talking about how if you use your powers too much you will no longer be human and we always knew that Sakuya and him had like a connection, like they both had the same power kind of. But obviously they don't, I'm thinking, I don't know, I was kind of confused on that because obviously the reason that, you know, Kotoro has this power was because of Kagari's ribbon was implanted into his arm. Obviously we see that flashback, we finally get to see what happened and that she did kill him and it was Kotori that ended up imbuing the... Kagadi's um, what's it called ribbon into his arm and that's what made him live but also gave him huge stress and why later on he has the ability for his Wolverine claw things and that's why they look just the same as the source you know um earth source kind of glowy green thing that's why it's like that so that was pretty interesting that we did learn about that at least um, it was also cool to see like other characters like Yoshino and his gang were also fighting rushing at those raptors things I was like damn Yoshino's a beast if they're gonna go do that but that's not really like the action in this episode honestly and throughout the whole season has not been what has impressed me really at all I was kind of disappointed by this episode's action too um, it was cool to see Kotoro you know pretty much expand you know past his limits by like how much and even use not just Wolverine claws but change it into like a sword and him versus the old guy was pretty 
it looked like it could have been a lot better but of course it ended with him about to die and it was weird because the old guy was talking about like oh too bad you came back like this like not you know half blah 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 and i was like what what's going on so did he know kotaro before everything or is it just i don't know i was kind of confused on that part to be honest um but in the end shizuru comes saving him we have a fight with shizuru and him which we don't really get to see and then of course obviously we see that um he's kotaro starts to get really hurt and it turns out we yeah like i said the whole thing with kagari's um ribbon so they take it out of him and gil and pan pretty much sacrifice using their life force i guess to close up that hole and he's able to still be alive after that point everything seems like oh, okay so what's going to happen next all of a sudden akane restarts the song of destruction because she gets you know possessed um and all of a sudden kagadi goes turning into a tree he starts turning into a tree too i didn't understand that at all really because they took out her ribbon so why was that happening to him it kind of honestly really confused me i was like what what's going on and all of a sudden his arms turning into like a tree his feet are too and it's like rooting him to the ground and we see him dragging himself trying to get to you know kagadi that's like screaming and everything is you know going really bad for everyone and for a moment i was like holy crap it's going to be one of those moments where he's like rushing pulling himself forcing himself being pulled down this whole moment i was like holy crap what's going to happen how is he going to stop kagadi and are you kidding me they use they have him a boob grab and she gets back to her senses that completely just destroyed the mood and completely just like i was like holy crap getting really into the anime like really into this episode like holy crap what's gonna happen and then he grabs her boob and she's like oh back to her senses and i'm like why what the hell is the point of that why would you do that you completely ruined the whole mood the whole thing of that whole like section like i was just literally like okay whatever boob grab saves the world kind of thing or something but pretty much we see a bunch of more things and ends up being the fact that everyone starts to ascend it's really emotional at this point and i saw in the forums that a lot of people were happy for those last moments at least like half the episode or a good three quarters maybe wasn't like it was still rushed like crazy and still all over the place but the last part was what people like really enjoyed even visual novel readers so it's interesting to see that obviously because like when i read the forums usually it's people from the visual novel complaining but they actually enjoyed you know seeing that part where all of them are sending the thing it was really emotional i was like holy crap we have shizuru like it seems like she's like just not she's like blind or something like not in the right mind she doesn't know what's going on and like her and lucia ascend and it was like holy crap chihaya is holding sakuya back to normal and they ascend akane gets awakened like back to normal because of the little girl and then they ascend we have this emotional moment with um kotori and chibi moth and it turns out chibi moth i guess was maybe in the car too with her fam her parents and it was like her dog or something and he was there all along as well just like how the parents grew memories or something as well something like that i'm not too sure and then all of a sudden we see them ascend and i'm just like that whole moment that all that stuff was going on i was really like oh my gosh is this like a bad ending or something what is going on like literally i could not believe what was going on i was so confused at that moment and i was like oh my gosh everything's just gonna go bad and we even have this moment where you know kotoro's like man everyone and you're dying if if only if i had more time i think maybe i could have done something and of course you know kagari's like yeah i'm sure you could have and then because of course we do have this moment where before that happened he had the option to kill her to which she of course gave it to him she's like if you're the one who kills me it's okay to which of course he doesn't we have this moment where they hold each other which would have been a better moment like that's how he stops her like he hugs her instead of like boob grabbing hugging or kissing would have been awesome to see but instead that doesn't happen to get the boot grab like that, do, that that part seriously just ruined a big portion of that episode for me but other than that it got really emotional seeing everyone ascending all of a sudden he turns into a tree fully she turns into a tree fully and it looks like all of a sudden it pans out to like the earth and everyone ascending and it looks like mankind is gone humanity is gone and i'm just like what just happened that literally blew my mind i'm not gonna lie that was one thing like the first beginning part of this episode, first half or anything, it was okay. I was still confusing on what was going on. The battle part wasn't really exciting for me as well. And just like numerous things that just didn't make it seem like it looked like it was just going to be everything was just going to be rushed. Like, like I thought, obviously. And then 
it started to get really emotional. We after the boob grab part, obviously everyone ascending kind of thing. We had this moment with him talking to Kagadi, you know, her telling him to kill her, him not doing it, um, and then of course, like obviously everyone ascending to which it shows. And after the credits, at first, like before the credits, when the credits started rolling and it was like that, I was like, okay, so. They decided to, like, adapt a new anime original bad route. Is that what's going on? A bad ending? Is this what this is? To which, of course, that's not what is. We see at the end, like I said before, numerous lines on the ground. And it looks like that line disappeared. Which means that was just, like, one route, one possibility, one branch, whatever you want to call it, in this huge thing that numerous different timelines that they had there. And I'm guessing... Kagadi, like someone said Moon Kagadi or something. I'm guessing she's trying different ways to save humanity or something. I don't know. I'm kind of confused on what's going on. I'm even more confused on what is going to happen in the Moon Slash Terra route. What is going to happen for the Moon route or Terra route. I, I know those are two different routes. Or I'm not too sure how they're going to put on it. But if they already knew, this is what I don't get. If they already knew they were going to have a second season. I don't get why they, did, why they rushed this season so much. Why couldn't they just expand, make it longer, and then, of course, have a Moon Sash Terror later on as well. I honestly don't get why they decided. They already wanted to have a second season. So why didn't they, you know, not rush everything, adapt it really well, everything in this. And then, of course, after that, we have a Moon Sash Terror. We could have two seasons of 24, 25 episodes. Just like, like I said before, Clannad had it. Just like I said before, Little Busters had it. They had those big, huge seasons. And then they also have the second season, which is usually the really impactful good one the first season is not always good that's why i predict that the second season may still be a lot better but for an anime watcher only a lot of things confused me on what was going on for visual novel readers i understand you guys said that you do understand a lot of these things so it makes sense it's kind of just seems like it's fan service for the visual novel readers and not really for new anime watchers to be honest i still enjoy the season not gonna lie sure it was rushed a lot of the time sure things could have been better but i still did enjoy the season i still think they could have done a lot better if they had more episodes or if they decided to take something out like i said before like some of the comedy wasn't really necessary when it got to the real serious moment the anime original arc i honestly thought it could have been a lot better but i still did enjoy this anime i still did enjoy the music the characters the story even if the story was all over the place at moments in the end it did fulfill and give me some closure to which I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the second season now that we know that all of that all those bad stuff was just a timeline that did not work out and now we're going to get to see a total new timeline with everyone again I'm wondering how everything's going to work will everything be the same like I said before I've not played the visual novel so I don't really know or understand how that works but I'm definitely excited for all of that how did I feel about this season overall what do I give my review I would definitely have to give it like a, um, probably like a seven. I would say a seven. It was not amazing. It was still really enjoyable. I still thought I had fun. Maybe seven and a half. But in terms of adaptation, from what people have been saying, it definitely wasn't. Didn't seem good. It should have been better. I. It was still rushed. I still enjoyed it. Like I said before, I still got a lot of things. But I feel if it was expanded more in a bigger season, this anime could have been so much better than it was. I'm still hopeful and excited for this next season. Not too sure how it's going to go. But like I said before, I'm definitely excited to see how everything's going to go. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And as always, Anime Watchers, how did you feel about this episode? How did you feel about this season? What are your thoughts? Did you enjoy everything? Do you feel it was super rushed? Whatever you guys want to talk about, feel free to comment below. And as always, Visual Novel Readers, how did you feel this was adapted overall? Um, did you like the way this was adapted? Do you think it was super rushed? Did you care for this last episode? Are you excited for the next season? Anything you guys want to talk about for your thoughts on this episode, this season, or the next season overall without spoiling anything, feel free to comment below on that. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So yeah, just got to wait for January 2017 for the next season. See how Terra slash Moon Root goes. Hopefully it will be better. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So till next time, see ya.